go. I think we're golden. Give us a moment here. See, uh, see how we're looking while Zach is air drumming. Excellent connection. Barrel, barrel, we should do a rock theme. Barrel, 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 buddies, barrel, barrel, buddies. Walk up to the barrel, buddies, barrel, barrel, buddies. BJ's like, what did you guys do? You completely ruined the theme song. Really? Oh, well, I mean, this is this is the alternative show, obviously. You know, we're not all three here, so. Welcome to the Barrel Buddies. I'm James. I'm Zach. And as you can see, we are lacking a member of this fine he? evening. Where, where did he? Where did he go? His oh, normal middle seat is gone and empty. So unfortunately, uh, Sir BJ could not join us this fine evening. But he said he will make up for it in ways unknown. Take that as you wish. All right. Yeah. It means he may have to bring up a new bottle for the bar. BJ, you are sorely missed. Sorely missed. Sorely missed. missed. On the internet, and then in presence. <laughs> and in our hearts. And in our hearts. And in the fans' hearts. And in the fans' All hearts. five of them. All five. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. We're well, up to five. Holy moly. Shelly, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Good we to see you, Shelly. So, we have an interesting night for you. We have a... I guess I would call them craft whiskey. No, I get. No, I'm not going to say I guess. They're it's craft whiskey. Definitely craft whiskey. Yeah. Um, Thistle and Finch. Thistle Finch Straight Rye from Thistle Finch Distilling. Right, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Or if you're a local, it's Lin, Lan, Lancaster. Is it Lancaster? I think it's Lancaster. We need oh. uh, we'll need Uncle Punky who just joined <laughs> to tell us how to say. Lancaster. I want to say Lancaster. Well, Lancaster. Well, maybe maybe it's one of those things where, like, on the East Coast, people say Nevada. Oh, yeah. And when it's actually, yeah. it's actually When you Nevada. live here, it's Nevada. So, Lancaster. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's like in Boston, all those obscure towns. Like, instead of Peabody, it's Pivoty. Oh, okay. So, well, there's a little fun, fun, fact, yeah. fun fact of the night for you. Pronunciations of cities, <laughs> from, depending on where you're from. So, get, getting back to Thistle Finch, so these guys are out of Lancaster. I'm, I'm just going to call it Lancaster, make this very simple for us. We don't live there, so we're not going to call it right. by its uh, real name. Pennsylvania. Uh, these guys started up in 2013, and Uncle Punky was gracious enough to send over this bottle. Thank yonder. you, Uncle Punky. So, shout out. And let me see if I can get the crew here to see the bottle. Ah, look at that. Oh, 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 there it is, there Perfect. it is. There it is, Thins Thistle Finch. Thistle Finch. Straight white rye whiskey, so it's a rye. Yeah, it's, it's a rye, it's a rye, so what that means is that you have a mash bill, um, and particularly with this, it is made up of 60% rye, 30% wheat, and 10% malted barley. Okay, very cool. Uh, coming in at 45% alcohol, so it's 90 proof, 750 ml bottle. This uh, particulars on this guy, it's batch 12, bottle 1256, and it was bottled 828 of 2020. Very cool. So there you go. And Uncle Punky uh, spelled it out for you, so Lancaster. Lancaster, okay, Lancaster. There you go. Welcome to Lancaster. Well, why don't you get that open? I should have just opened it, but I uh, have you do bottle duty. Bottle duty? And get that, that like Is that like barrel duty? I don't know, maybe. Well, maybe. barrel duty is kind of a... Kind of a so we're going to pour this and uh, see what we got going on. But yeah, so shout out to those that joined us last week with uh, the man himself, Greg Manorino, the Robin Hood of Wall Street. We had quite the show. Uh, so for those in attendance, I hope you all enjoyed. We had a blast. Uh, revisiting Gold Bar with uh, Greg was amazing. Gold so. Bar and Gold Bar, um, yeah, Gold Bar Black. Gold Bar Black is very good. So, yeah. but... That's neither here nor there. Moving on here to Thistle Finch. So to the Thistle Finch. I'm going to tell you right now, when you poured that, I, I got a good whiff of it. Even though we have a, a fan going on, I got a good... Got that rye, yeah. that rye, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was, rye flavor to it. Rye, rye nose. Oh, that's very... That's a very interesting nose, guys. So right. let me get the, uh, the glass here so you can kind of see some color. Yeah. Maybe. There we go. There Super we go. grassy. You get that on the nose? Yeah, so so I get grassy, I get uh, very earthy, very earthy and grassy. Okay, um, okay. I don't know, tell me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head there. <clears throat> Interesting, it, like it, alfalfa maybe? I don't know. I mean, this is going to sound so pretentious. 
I smell soil, like dirt, but really? not in a bad okay. way. That's such a weird. Like I don't know. Maybe it's just like a, like a, walking into a barn, but it's not funky. It's just like old, dusty. Yeah, a lot of dust, and and like virtually no ethanol. I mean, it's, it's oh yeah, really no. This smell. has I get yeah I get a zero ethanol heat, zero heat on the nose. I could keep my nose buried in this. Yeah, I could smell that all day, but yeah, like uh, like an earthy soil, oh, like alfalfa. I mean, like it's um. Yeah, it's funny walking into a barn. Yeah, barn. right. <laughs> like very like, barny. No, like that hay, grass, uh, everything you that go. you're saying. That I get that same, those same. Maybe instead of grass, it's hay. Oh wow! But that's great, though. No, that is. Um, I mean, that's, that's a great point. Uncle Punky says it's Amish farmland. Oh and, yeah. I mean, yeah, a- absolutely. I mean, you have it smells like Lancaster, like <laughs> Lancaster. <laughs> Ooh. It's almost like new car. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Dude, it's got like a, a really pleasant it's, smell. It's to different. It. It's different. It's pleasant, but it's unlike anything I've anything I've ever uh, encountered back before. The back and forth, right? So uh, open your mouth, go nostril to nostril. Yeah, so we do for those out there that are new, we do the left to right. So you always want to nose what you're drinking left to right. Because your sinus, your nasal pas- passageways are different distances. They're not equidistant to your brain. So you get different senses based on which nostril you're smelling out. Is this like the intelligent side and then the creative side? The smooth side and the... No. <laughs> smooth, the smooth. Double, what if I have double smooth sides? Uh, <laughs> smooth overall? Smooth in general. Smooth brain Dave, you know? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, no, you know, it... it that is a pleasant smell. It's, I, I really enjoy that. <clears throat> yeah, across the board. That's getting into it's this. Getting I, I need to get into it. I need to get it. Very nice legs. You got that good... It looks a little syrupy. Yeah. Thick. Yeah, nice amber color to it. Here we go. Wow. The smell... Totally translates into the into the taste. It is not far off. I mean, it just. I feel like like it, it tastes. It tastes like hey, I love that. Here's my comparison, and tell me what your thoughts are on this because I've known you. I know you've had this. It tastes, and this is no way a slight to Thistle Finch. It tastes like a proofed down Frey Ranch. Ah. So yeah. if you took that Frey Ranch, so for those that don't know Frey Ranch, <clears throat> out of Fallon, Nevada, Northern Nevada. They have some heavy hitters coming out barrel proof. I think fifty eight to sixty ish percentage, uh, and their rise and their straight whiskey, and I feel as if any time that I have I sat down and put like one or two cubes in my glass, it's very similar, very similar profile. Well, the uh, like the um, uh, what do you call it? The distilling process or like their their um, <clears throat> the ingredients that they that. From you know what we've read, they they sound very similar. Right? Oh yeah, and I'm Lo- sure they're sourcing yeah. locally. Yeah, locally sourced grain and all that. I mean, like this. It's Why not, wouldn't you if yeah. you're living in farm country? Yeah, right? it's not MGP yeah. juice. I mean, this is this is being distilled on site, right? And I think you said it earlier. It's pleasant, and and I think that's a perfect word for it. It's not overpowering. It's very light, but not light where it's watered down. I don't mean light in a bad way. I mean, it's just a mellow This is 90 light. proof? Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, you think about some of the other uh, beverages we have, you know, the 90 proofer, right. something you know, like Makers <clears throat> and some of that other, you know, some of the old forest or some of that stuff we've had at 90 proof and it's like, ooh, it's right. still tough. You're like, okay, yeah. who take the moonshine out of this? Yeah, like, you gotta, you got to fight through it and yeah. just and really try to enjoy it. This, I mean, I didn't even need three sips. Super approachable, super approachable. I like it. I really enjoy this. It's dangerously drinkable. Yeah, I'm putting it in that category. Redbeard, how's it going, bud? Redbeard, uh, good to see you, man. Good to see you. So we, uh, for those that are just joining, we're doing Thistle Finch Distilling. It's a craft whiskey out of Lancaster or Lancaster, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Merch is on the way. Uh, Merch is on the way. So just to give you guys a heads up... (laughs) 
Um, the outpouring of support. The outpouring. There you go. The outpouring of support that we uh, received from the Greg Manorino show last week. So many people have been emailing us, DMing us. Any way they can get a hold of us, they want merch. There you go. So we are meeting. Um, fortunately, uh, one of our good friends runs SoCal Jet Boats. So SoCal shout Jet out, Boats. Shout out to uh, SoCal Jet Boats and Brad. Brad and the crew. Brad and the crew. Brad the man. So he's fortunate enough to have a warehouse here in Vegas where he makes merch for his... Uh, Boat club or whatever you want to call it, but they're like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand deep. Oh, they're, they get they're a, a lot. Serious, he's got a huge, huge following. serious following. Yeah. Um, and he's offered. He has this warehouse full of uh, screen printers and embroidering machines and and anything and everything under the sun. We are going on a we'll call it a site survey next Saturday or this I like Saturday. That. that that sounds very professional. And what that means is that we bring a, <laughs> a bottle of uh, good whiskey and we probably do a show from the warehouse. But uh, oh, yeah. we'll see what deals he can throw at us, and we'll have merch uh, imminently approaching. Bring him uh, some. So. Bring him a little Sailor Jerry in the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big Sailor Jerry fan. Big so Sailor Jerry. Very very easy to appease the. Uh, the thirst when it comes to him. That's right. The Bradmiral. <laughs> cheers to the Bradmiral. Yeah, cheers. We'll tell him. We'll be like, yeah, we had you. We were talking about you on the Thistle Finch show. <laughs> so back to this. So with this thin, uh, Thistle Finch, unfortunately, just to go a little bit into availability, I believe this is only available in Lancaster, Lancaster. Dude. Uncle Punky was grateful enough to bring it back to us here in Vegas. I was looking around. I was actually checking out. So like before we do a show, like I, I like to go to... Either Total Wine or like Lee's or some of the liquor stores around sure. town. Sure, Liquor World, yeah. Yeah, just to see. Out. Yeah, just to see what's around. Can I find this here? Can I find it there? Right. No thistle finch. I even asked, and yeah. nothing. And, and I'm sure a lot of the distribution hasn't heard of it. I mean, it's coast to coast. Right. It, what we're talking about here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's small um, batch whiskey. So. Yeah. So thankfully, for those that don't know, just to get a little bit into uh, legislation in the uh, liquor world. Uh, there was a bill passed that now allows distilleries to directly online sell Woo! to, I believe there's seven states on the list right now, six or seven, and Nevada is one of them. Oh, so, yeah. Let's get us Nevada, some Nevada, Nevada. So, well, here's the thing. So, I'm sure all these distilleries are probably making a play to get their online stores up and running. So, Thistle Finch, if you guys do, let us know eventually. And we'll be more than happy to order from you guys online. Yeah. Um, if, as you guys can see here on the screen, and let us know if you can see that okay. I, this is yeah. we don't really do picture in picture that often, so. Oh, you're showing the other offerings, the, yeah. the, the coffee and the pepper. I want to try all three of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is. I mean, their straight rye is perfect. I love it. Like for me, I'm not a rye guy. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe in the past they just had, didn't have the right rye. So BJ but. was kind enough to do some research and talk to the guys at Thistle Finch and said uh, he they believe that they're, I guess you would say they're, what do you want to call What's the word for it? They're, they're, they're I don't know. Niche? They're No, they're specialty bottles. Oh, oh this yeah, white yeah, rye. yeah. They're, they're what flagship, they're known for. Flagship. 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 Smooth Ooh. rain. So their flagship <laughs> is this uh, Thistle Finch small batch white rye. Very curious about that. To be honest, before I read the description, I was like, unaged whiskey? How does that even work? I want nothing to do with that. I need all my alcohol out of a barrel. Yeah. We're the barrel buddies. Yeah, everything comes from the barrel, but this would definitely be a, a welcome exception. I want to try it. For I'm sure. super curious. Absolutely. After and, trying this, I'm yeah. amazed. And on their website, their price point is 32 bucks. Uh, yeah. That's worth it. I mean, you're getting a 7 to 50. So it looks like they do a gin. They do a vodka. That's great. And then uh, they do a black pepper rye, which black pepper uh, has a mash bill, aged in oak barrels with peppercorns. Tell a, tell a cherry peppercorns. Cool. And you know, then, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, just uh, thinking about uh, when you when you're talking about pepper rye. Yeah. Um, like when when whiskey tastes peppery, normally it's the the char of the barrel that that really that that's coming out of. Right? Oh, definitely. It's, it's not actual peppercorn. The ingredients that they're putting. But into this it. has actual peppercorn. Exactly. So, so that's why I'm like, I'm like, that is really interesting. Yeah. I've never so seen that so thistle finch. If you guys are watching, we're curious with 
all of this stuff. Very. And it's so disappointing we can't get it here in Vegas. And, yeah, go on and then, the uh, so black coffee rye. So this is basically, it's the same batch. So it looks like they do all of these with their, all these small batches with their rye mash. And then this one is aged in oak barrels with whole coffee beans. Very wow. curious about that. I'm, I'm a huge coffee fan, so... That sounds great. Coffee and, then, and whiskey. What what other whiskey have you had that's had coffee? I can't. I don't think anything. I don't think it, I've had coffee and beer. Plenty um, of coffee and beer. Uh, actually, just coffee and beer. Yeah. But no. And then, coffee and whiskey. How awesome is that? Yeah. Then you have their that idea. their straight rye offering, which is uh, aged for a minimum of two years. I want to try all of those ryes right now. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Uh, so a few people are saying they can't get Gold Bar where they're from. That's incredibly unfortunate. So the, Gold Bar is based out of San Francisco. Uh, we can try to f dig into that and see if they plan to distribute more so on the East Coast. Okay. So because yeah, Uncle Punky is out in PA. Uh, Jackie is in New York. Doesn't get it. Uh, Redbeard. So BJ, for those that are joining late, BJ was a little under the weather tonight. He just couldn't join us. Uh, he didn't want to risk, you know, who knows what's going on around there. But I think he's had a little stomach issue. Yeah. It Whatever happens. Call, it happens. Right. It's all good. But we're here. We're here carrying the mantle. Carrying the mantle for Mr. J. What is a mantle? I, I held up like a torch. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't think oh, that's it's a like mantle. It was, it was almost like you had a sword in your hand. Carrying like, the mantle. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. We're carrying the mantle. Uh, I'll tell you, the, carry a mantle. The infamous kangaroo opener. Yep. Is here in all its glory, folks. So, so. that's a uh, that's a staple now. That's a staple of the show. Yeah. So, so after uh, Mr. Manorino's um, <laughs> blessing of the balls, <laughs> I mean, shoot, it's got to stay. Manorino's blessing. I love it. Yeah, I love it. So um, Thistle Finch, I think these guys really knocked it out of the park. This, I, this is blowing is, me away. I, 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 I gotta have another one. I mean, shoot, fill me up, please. And oh, yeah. I just pounded that. And I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of complexity. That profile, that mash bill. So just to go a little bit into their... Uh... Thanks, Redbeer. We'll let them know. Speedy recovery out there to BJ. Uh, those kangaroo balls sure did them in. They sure did. Manorino. We'll look at the market today, guys, right? So buy the dip, right? Buy the dip. Okay. Buy, so. buy low, sell high. Or just buy high, sell low. That uh, depends on if you're a smooth brain yeah. if you're buying high and selling low. How smooth is your brain? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people got out today. They didn't have those diamond hands. Yeah, so. paper hands. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so getting back to Thistle Finch here. So uh, what's interesting, so when they mill their grains, they so when milling, a lot of people don't know the, the process, so let's go through it. So when you're making your mash, right, so that's basically where you're boiling your broken down grains which is like think of like a uh an old flour mill with like what do they call that thing the, the grinder yeah the, it's uh, breaking down yeah, the churn whatever the churn is. grinder so you get these different grains you break it down and then you add water and you boil it that's yep. how you get that's your mash right so what these guys do is they grind it down to almost like a flour like consistency so what the thought process behind that is, is that you're getting a lot more flavor out of the uh, rye mash bill. So that translates into the end product. Um, anyway, so... Also, uh, another thing that, that um, I was reading that was kind of interesting, they used the original pot still that they started with. Um, hmm. So it's a it's an ongoing thing. I mean, like a, it's all small batch whiskey, right? Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is like artisanal freaking whiskey. Well, I mean, there, there there's a lot of thought and a lot of work that goes into this. I can oh, tell. Yeah. And then what's interesting, another little tidbit here that we found out that these guys do, they so when the mash is done being boiled and they're ready to transfer the product to uh, to begin fermentation, usually it's separated, right? The grains. It goes through a filter, it's, they just pull it from the bottom and leave all the grains and stuff in there. And then they, they usually recycle those grains. People make bread out of it. You can uh, bird feed, whatever. Dog but treats. Dog treats. Yeah, yeah, they do some cool stuff with it. Mm -hmm. But what these guys do is they keep the grains in the liquid for during the fermentation process. That's so I'm sure, these. yeah, and I'm sure with all of these things that these guys are doing, that flour grain, the... Um, and then doing the, uh, sorry, guys, I'm reading the chat here. 
and then the uh, the liquid uh, in the fermentation, you end up uh, with this amazing tasting product. I'm really I was I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I thought we were gonna go into this. It was gonna be dog shit, and BJ was gonna be spearheading it, and you guys were gonna like it. And it was gonna be another. <laughs> it was gonna be you and him against me <laughs> shitting on it. And I'm like, all right. Get it out of here. We're never drinking it again. Never talk to those guys again. No, so, this is this is solid. This is super solid. Like it, like I said <laughs> earlier, I'm not a rye guy. Yeah, well, same. This, we both this, said it to each other. Yeah. I, I said, oh, it's a rye, and he's like, Ugh, yeah, like, and then, we're done with rye. Like, yeah, and I got and I got to fight through a rye. Yeah, just because it's like a with a with a lot of ryes that I've had in the past. Maybe I just haven't had the right rye. Right, that too. It, it just it has so much spice to it, where I'm like, it puts me off, right? Mm-hmm. But this has like the perfect amount. I mean, like it, it has the the flavor profile of the of the rye, but it's just so smooth, and that's why like I was looking at it, and um, I mean like it, it it's ninety proof, which is normal for a whiskey, but. You just you, like there. There's no ethanol burn. I mean, it's just it's, and it's dangerous. That, yeah, and that I golden. It. It's got that beautiful golden hue, golden kind of like just a, like a, like a, at sunset. You look up in the sky. And yeah, that's like a, a light glass. Amber. Yeah, yeah, and that amber. I'm a fan. And that smell, so unique. I think that's unique. You know, and it, I say this. You, you have so many of these craft distilleries popping up all across the United States yep. and they just need people to get their name out there right because some of these guys are only serving I, I never heard of this old Finch yeah no neither have I you like know, I was wondering fine. like when I heard the name I was like never heard of it and never so heard I had to of it. it totally discounted it immediately yeah. I go I want nothing to do with that there, there, there really isn't a whole lot of like media out no, there yet no. uh, I mean there's 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 pictures for, that come from the distillery sure um but you don't see it outside of like a promo picture. Yeah, no, like and, and I think this is great, right? We're on the West Coast here, so we can kind of bring some of the East Coast to you guys and oh, some yeah. of all the coasts to all of our fans out there because we know we have some of you guys from all over the world. So This is something we need on the West Coast. Absolutely. <sighs> yeah, this will finish. Again, if you guys are listening, you need some distro. Yep, love so. that. Love that, and I want to try the other uh, the other three offerings as well. Yeah. I mean, the coffee, the pep- black pepper, and then... Um, the what was it the white rye the the straight yeah the, the white yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i want to try it all yeah i mean after this like this is i won't say anything yet Redbeard says finch which is a bird love to eat thistle which oh. makes sense thistle finch. finch and all the pictures we found were like finch birds is, is there an actual thistle finch or is it just finches that like to eat thistle and it's a it's a <sighs> I, I think it's a I think it's a creative name because <laughs> like whenever I looked up like up for for the Instagram right like I was looking up pictures of a thistle finch yeah and then like I would find like a picture but then at the very bottom it would say golden finch and I'm like you know what screw no. it up I'm putting it on the instas anyway <laughs> like, whatever kidding. nobody knows what a thistle finch is it's a finch that enjoys Ooh. thistles oh okay. now we know now we know now, now we, we know. know the more you know the barrel buddies are teaching you. Um, Things that you may not need to know. <laughs> yes. Jackie says, what, was going to ask about flavored whiskey, but found what I was looking for at, in episode eight. So if I'm not mistaken, that's the SHOT Show. <laughs> which we did a SHOT Show for our friends out there. The SHOT Show was a shit show. It was a shit show. If you go back, this is back in the old house I was in, the, was it, the party house. Did we even have the camera or were we using the uh, the laptop at that point in time? We were we were still using the laptop. Okay. And the laptop camera was worse. This isn't much better, but at least we've moved to a DSLR. We're slowly trying to make improvements in our production. <laughs> yeah. And we, we hear you guys about the microphone. We're working on the mic situation. Um, we're just dealing with this guy for now, but we'll... We'll be upgrading some of our tech, and we hope we hope to get a GoPro soon. We want to get like a Hero 9, I think, is in our future. So we'll let you guys know, because that's going to help us do more of the uh, on-location shows, which we want to start doing on site. On site. Yep. Uh, we have so many. We're incredibly <clears throat> fortunate, believe it or not, being in Vegas, to where we have, we're a few hours away from Superstition Meadery. Right. We have a Over bunch of, yeah, we have Scottsdale, right? Prescott, 
Prescott. 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 Another great example of a weird city name. I call it Prescott. Prescott, but if you're local, it's Prescott. Prescott. So Superstition Meadery. Uh, we have Frey Ranch up in northern Nevada. We're four hours Fallon. away. Fa- sorry, Fallon. You're, we're four hours away from our stomping ground in Anaheim, which has all the breweries you know you could think of and a ton of craft distilleries. Uh, but we're going to be heading down there. We have some great shows planned over the next few months where we're going to be on location doing the show. <clears throat> so we're excited about it. Oh, we yeah. hope you guys are excited about it. We're going to take you around a tour. Yeah. And let's... you're just going to... Let's go on we'll vac- let's, around. Let's go on mini vacation, <laughs> mini and then you can come with us, and we'll stream it live. I believe we can stream stream it live with the mm-hmm. GoPro. Yeah, we can, we can. It'll be great, be a good time. Yeah. So, uh, let's get to our ratings. Let's jump right in. So, Redbeard said it is. It's a goldfinch. Oh, it is a goldfinch. Yeah. All right, I found the right pictures then. <laughs> so, this finch is a gold. Nose and aroma. What do you give it? I give it a three hands down. Three, absolutely. There's no question. I mean, I could smell this all day long. It's great. It smells like hay. You got a little bit of honey. But it's just subtle. Yeah. Farmhouse. Zero ethanol. Zero. Zero. I mean, like, you really have to, like, smell in there. Yeah. Like a child might be able to smell the ethanol. This is like just walking onto a farm and not smelling shit. It's just smelling hay. Yeah. Hey, smelling like, farm grass, hey, alfalfa, grass, and a little like bit of like soil. the yeah. dusty. You open the barn doors and you got that oh, dust. I love it. And super unique, super super unique. Yeah. Um, Redbeard says if we come out to Green Bay, oh. he'll take. Uh, we'll, we'll go to the Main Street Bourbon Room and the Prohibition Lounge. Oh. Those sound amazing. I love it. We'll I look them the up. Name. We'll look them up after the show. Uh, that sounds really cool, but yeah, no, for sure. Let's we were it. thinking about uh, coming out to the Midwest. There's some places we want to head up. So I've sure. been to the Midwest a long time, shoot. And uh, yeah, I want to go. I want to go see where Redbeard uh, has his um, his his watering his, holes. His watering holes and uh, where when the, where the uh, the the Glen Oahe came from, you know. Yeah. So just to give you guys a heads up, so. Thistle Finch, they have their distillery. They have what's called their Burley Bar Restaurant. Ooh, I like it. Uh, if you're there in Lancaster, Lancaster. Uh, Lancaster. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They said they have a full menu cocktails and draft beer. So wow. Looks pretty cool. Dude, so they're doing uh, whiskey. Oh, look at this. Beers. Look how cool. That look at that. That looks amazing. I mean, the old brick. For yeah, the like house. brick. The old like brownstone. Like yeah. that's so cool. We don't have anything like that out here on no, the West no, Coast. No. Out, at least in Vegas. You, you know what's funny? That that kind of looks like that. That looks like the uh, uh, patties from um, Always uh, Sunny. Always Sunny. Yeah, it and it just looks like something where you're like, I have to go in here. That looks so cool. Look at some of these pictures. I want to go to Lancaster now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole I've summer, never been to yeah. Pennsylvania. I've been next to it, but. And then these dudes, these might be like the guys. They yeah. are very serious here. Right, yeah. I want to swipe my card in that. Okay, so thing. check this out. Rye by the glass. They charge six bucks. Oh, yes. For a it. neat pour. Okay. That's gonna, a steal. Okay, I'm going to be there all day long. Shoot. That's dangerous, those prices. And get this, look at this. Yeah. Whiskey Sour, 8. Old Fashioned, 8. Martini Mule and Vanilla Rye, 8. Interesting. So I wonder if the Old Fashioned is made with the, uh, the straight one rye. I'm sure it is. A straight rye uh, Old Fashioned. Rye old I, fashioned. Dude, I love that idea. I would get hammered at Absolutely. Yeah, at I, I think we'd be... <laughs> hopefully they have bunks somewhere where we can uh, take a little nap. Dude, this place looks so cool. Look I at that building. It. Heck so yeah. they, it looks like they built it upstairs. They got some of the cocktails here. Wow. I'm, you're going to need a bike because you're not driving home. That's for sure. <laughs> right. Look, at that's so, that looks such like a cool locals. And I bet it's all like just locals, just chilling in there, and they, tying and, one on. And I, wonder, and I wonder if the locals really know what they have. You know, that yeah, everyone else exactly. is going to be freaking salivating over. I mean, I want to go to Lancaster. That looks so cool. I really want to see this place. I really want to check this out. This is so cool. That is super neat. Yeah. That is really, really cool. Oh, there you have. We'll leave it there. So cool. Very good. All right. So you gave it a three. Let's move on to taste. Taste. Uh, I'm going to give it a three as well. 
Ah, I've, subscriber 1000. Welcome. Mr. Subscriber 1000. Good to see you. I give it a three. Wow. The, the, the nose, the nose transfers directly into the taste. No ethanol burn. I mean, like our three sip rule, right? You know, dictates that the first sip, you're going to get a shock to your palate. Second, you're kind of halfway there. Third, that's where you have to, you really taste the layers Dude, of the whiskey. I, oh. But this, like the first, the first sip, you know exactly what's in it. And yeah. you can taste the grain. You can taste everything in it, which is so amazing. You're right? hitting the nail on the head yeah. on everything I want to say. Yeah. I hands down give this a three. I love it. I love it. I really do. <laughs> it's super tasty. I mean, this, I mean, this is artisanal pot still whiskey. It's so good. Yeah. Guys, like... I mean, like, how do you do it? Shoot. I judge personal, like, internally. I don't tell buddy, anybody if it's like, if I can just keep drinking it mm -hmm. and get a great buzz and just keep drinking and not even know when I'm really, like, just enjoying it tastes good. Doesn't have that big alcohol burn. It's not like I'm actually drinking alcohol, right? It's just I'm drinking something tasty, a tasty beverage. That's a tasty beverage. That is a tasty beverage. I want to keep drinking it. It gets a three. No questions about it. So you know it's interesting that that I was kind of reading. Uh, <clears throat> they don't add water to proof the whiskey down. No, I no. So it's interesting is you that say correct? that. No, they they add water to proof it down. Oh, did I read that wrong? Oh. So they don't add water to collected whiskey prior to barreling. Ah, uh, there we go. So okay, if they okay, do any proofing sense. down, it's after the fact, after right. it comes out of the barrel. Right, 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 right. Which, I mean, I'm sure, you know, maybe that does a different, uh, you know, maybe a different flavor. But I, think, but I think keeping the grain, not separating the grain, that yeah. process. Yeah, that distilling process, it's called on the grain process. On the yeah. grain, I love it. It's pretty cool. Man, I've, I've never had a distilled product that has been done in that method before. Yeah. So I'm curious, maybe these guys could set the benchmark for that process. So when we, you know, move down the road and have more craft distilled beverages, we have something in a frame of reference. It'd be like, remember Thistle Finch? Yeah. Just got the pioneers. No. Well, these guys, I mean, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like you're, com <laughs> like a, it's almost like you're, you're combining the, um, you know the brewing process of beer and then distilling this you know and just kind of i don't know maybe i'm just thinking a little no no thanks. but maybe I maybe mean, you're you know, I mean, they have something new you know I, I i've never had anything like this before i don't know how many on the grain whiskeys are out there i don't know and i haven't had beer i don't think i've had this is probably my first one this is absolutely my i first mean we one. we read up on most of the uh the products we drink, and I, I've never heard of them deviating from the standard uh, distillery. I want to. I want to make like a cologne process. of this and just spray it all over myself. Absolutely, <laughs> I love it. All right, so moving on to value. So zero to three value. So this came in uh, just to give you guys a heads up. This was forty seven dollars. Um, wow. Some of their other products were in like the thirties. Oh. Um. I mean, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. I, I think that it's it's worth it, but I don't believe that it's a steal, right? If this was like a th and and don't get me wrong, Thistle Finch and or whoever's out there, I get it. People have to make money, but if it was in maybe like the 30s, I'd be way more prone to being like, hot damn guys, this is 30 some bucks. Get it? 47.50. Then you're kind of dipping in territory that I can compare some other whiskeys and bourbons to that would, you know, kind of run up it to it neck and neck. So two and a half, which is still a fantastic score. Zach, what do you give it? Uh, I'm going to give it a three. I think Fair. it's a steal. For me, like if I saw it on the, in, in the shelf, if I saw that on the shelf over a total wine, I'd buy five of them. Um, <clears throat> just because of the, 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 the quality that goes into this. Like, I'm not really going to compare it to anything else. Hold on because, a second. Because Jackie, I can't. I don't know. Jackie says, I was at the liquor store today and saw that bottle and I balked. This will finish? Where? Where? Hold where, on, hold on. Where, where's where's Jackie, Jackie from? I think he said they said New York. Let us know. But um, 
Regardless, I, don't, I think they might in the chat. They're talking about a couple different bottles, so maybe they're not talking if about. It's it, but this let us one, know. If it's let us this, know. If it's, if it's this, this one, one go you back. need to go back and pick it up. Yeah, buy it. Buy it. This is totally worth the totally experience. Worth it. Go out there and look for it, I mean, and I'll show you guys the bottle. bottle. I'll show you guys the bottle. I know some of you missed the uh, the picture there. There you go. There Perfect. Well, there you go. Yeah, look at that, guys. It's killer. Go by the way. I mean, this is just good stuff. Great stuff. Yeah, great yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've never tasted anything like it. I mean, uh, well, no. no, I have. I have. Very similar to Free Ranch, right? Mm -hmm. Where, mm -hmm. like, it's not MGP juice, it's locally sourced grains. Yep. They're, they're doing the entire distilling process on site. Right. right? So, right. this isn't taking juice from, you know, the like I said, MGP juice and then. Um, Making your own Midwestern, very, Midwestern grain products. Maybe, yeah, there you go. And then sources making, a lot of their distilled whiskey. I believe it's Seagram's on a massive scale, and then sells that to craft distilleries that are up and coming that don't have time to run a business while they wait for whiskey to barrel age. Right. So they buy it from outsource it, and it's all comes mostly from MGP, and that's why you can see you know a lot of the bourbon people go bananas like oh is that mgp juice i gotta have it so that's when you hear us say mgp that's what we're talking about really quick in the chat gnarly dice is asking do you guys ever drink anything besides whiskey absolutely gnarly if you check yeah. two episodes ago we did tequila we did uh, have a tequila yeah we did t1 t1 and it was a whiskey barrel Sorry, it was a Scotch barrel aged añejo tequila. How was that? I was kind of curious. It was great. I mean, I was I was eating Imperial King Duck ah, at the time yes. uh, with the uh, wine tasting pairing. So. <laughs> Jackie confirmed. <laughs> yes, Thistle's Finch, New York. Go get it, Jackie. If you're it. if you're out next week, go stop by and just completely work and let us know the price. Let us know so next Wednesday, jump on the show. Say hey, I did or did not go get your Thistle Finch. Spend forty bucks on it; it'd be totally worth yeah, it. Yeah, this this is going to change your life. Here, I, I think you're going to love it. Here's what I like about it: it is what I would call something I could give to a first timer, right? So if it's somebody that I'm introducing to whiskey, prime example. At an event a while back, I took some cask strength, fifty nine percent whisk or sorry, fifty nine percent scotch to these people. Ver all various, um, we'll say, experiences in drinking. And a lot of them just couldn't handle it. It was too much, right? That was my fault. When big group gatherings happen, you should take a bottle that is proof down anywhere between 40% to 50% is really that limit, right? Yeah, that's, that's a normal burp or, or, it's, or it's, whiskey, right? It's traditional, right? But when you bring in that cask strength, barrel strength, you got to be careful because that really... To some people's palates, it is, it's basically drinking isopropyl, rubbing alcohol. Yeah, You've got to be careful. Yeah, and they, it affects people differently. Yeah, too. and if you're, not, just, if you're not a big season drinker, it's gonna, you're gonna, it'd be revolting, right? You may just be like, what is this? For, yeah, I mean, like for me, I love... I, I love barrel. I, 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 I love barrel proof is my favorite. <laughs> like, I like Elijah Craig, but Elijah Craig barrel proof? Ooh, I love that even better. George Toddler Stag is in the corner. There Good he is. Good old George Toddler Stag, world's youngest child's distiller. That's right. Distilled. I would love to do a moonshine show. We need to be able to get real moonshine. George Toddler Stag, GTS, for those that don't know him. Right next to you. And uh, Monkey, General. Monkey General, who has just been a fixture. I picked him up a you know, long, long time ago at a thrift store and figured he would be perfect for the house. George Toddler. So, when did Do George Toddler Stag start distilling? I believe I uh, he was six. Toddlers are around like the age of what, three or four? I think he was six. He was six. Wow. All right. He was doing a hell of a lot more than I was. We need to circle six. back. <laughs> Any blown away bonuses? Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Blown away bonus. I love it. For so, those that don't know, we give one point as a possible blown away bonus if it's something that blows you away. And I think I've only given it once. You've given it maybe two or three times? I've given it three times. One for cake, one for... Uh, oh, okay. I did give it for cake. Uh, what is uh, it? Glenn uh, gold, 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 gold bar uh, black. Gold bar black, double And then, and then um, Thistle Finch. 
I love this fridge. I am a fan. Like I can drink this all day long. It yeah, just has. That's what the thing is. I want to keep drinking yeah. it all day long. I mean, I can so smell good. it. I can taste it. At, and, good seeing you. Good to see you. And, and it's 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 a completely different product that I've ever had before. Bob and, loves Monkey General as you should, subscriber one thousand. He's oh, our yeah. mascot. That's right. But yeah, there there there's there isn't a product out there that I've had that's anywhere close to this. Great. Um, well, maybe very rich, right? But I mean, like having locally sourced grain and doing everything on property and and just coming out with a great freaking product. Yeah. Thistle Finch, I love it. Cheers to Thistle Finch. Heck yeah. I do not, unfortunately, give it a bonus, but that's not a bad thing. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. I mean... I love the product. It's still great. Um, yeah. Gnarly Dice, thank you for subbing and subscribing. Our quick moment of shilling ourselves. Please, whatever you got to do, subscribe, like this video, share it if you are a true diehard fan. But and those watch, yeah. small things help us. Again, we are not yet monetized. Yeah, viewing but last hours. Week, viewing hours. Last week is a quick update. Greg Manorino and the Robin Hood and, of Wall Street and the Lions joined the show and Lionesses. They helped us gain almost 800 more viewing Woo! hours towards awesome. our 4,000 our goal, yep. which once we hit that 4,000 hours, we can monetize and we can start earning money from ads, which I know ads are annoying you guys, but we can earn a couple cents off that and then we can start using that money just to buy alcohol. Yeah. Because that's all we're in it for is to have fun, enjoy this hobby, Dude. and buy more alcohol. And have, <laughs> have, the, have the video hanging out like on your second screen on your monitor yeah. in your home. I cr we created a playlist. If yeah. you guys are at work tomorrow or at work from home, Click our playlist, put it on mute, and just let it run. And you YouTube, know what? you never heard that. And, and, just and, you, and you know what? No, actually, you know, it's kind of funny. Like, you may be kind of casually watching. You may see <laughs> something funny and enjoy. Or yeah, fun. you're like, but oh, what are these guys doing? Yeah. What are these guys doing? And then you, like, unmute it for a couple seconds, whatever. Yeah. Uh, there's a request for an Everclear show. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm all about a grain alcohol show. All right, show. all right. I will do a grain alcohol you know, show. You know, okay, so... I get a feeling so with the Everclear, okay? Yeah. Um, you remember the Wild Turkey one or the Wild Turkey show? Mm -hmm. We had one hundred and one, and then we had Rare Breed, and then I think Rare Breed, Bri uh, Rare, Rare Breed Rye. Yes. And uh, I remember one hundred and one back in the college days, where you were just like you would shoot it and then breathe fire and then do it. Like, you would drink it to get drunk, right? Yeah. But as your palate, I mean, as our palates have uh, developed. 101 is actually very tasty. Yeah. And I'm kind of wondering what Everclear is going to taste like now. You know, we'll see. Uh, where we're at. David, we're right there with you. Don't forget, buy the crypto dip. Absolutely. Buy the dip. Absolutely. Where's Greg? High voltage. We will see Greg. So here's the thing Greg had such a fun time on our show last week. He has committed to the Barrel Buddies of being on at a minimum, he said, once a month. Once so a month. That's. From, from You're talking, this guy is so busy. He has so much going on. The market and everything that he does for his fans. Yeah. And he's he's carving out time to come hang out with us lowly barrel buddies. Dude, he does multiple shows a day. He, yeah, he does he so much stuff. I know he's got his newsletter, his website, the YouTube videos. He's on all social media. The ones that he hasn't been banned on yet. Yeah. And professing his uh, <laughs> stock market gurudom. Gurudom? Did I just say gurudom? Gurudom. I mean, it's not on, it's like saying Lancaster. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Guys, total scores for me. I am not giving it a blown away bonus, but that's totally okay because I give it a respectable 8.5 out of 10. I give it a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I loved it. I Mr. 10 out of 10. I, I well done. I well done, Thistle Finch. I really enjoyed it. I mean, Thistle Finch... Um, like I said, if, if you're watching, this is Good. something that people are going to enjoy outside of Pennsylvania. I'm not sure what your your um, your uh, distro area is. Well, think but... about it. They're probably doing. They're probably think about it. Small batch. They opened in 2013. These guys, look at that that building, that brownstone we just showed them. Good question. They're probably yeah. not able to keep up. Not that they can't keep up, but I'm sure that they're making literal small batches. But this is something that everyone's going to enjoy. I love it. Uh, but you're right. You're right. So it's probably local. Very local. Yeah. And it's I mean, probably really hard to get. Yeah. Um, but 
I don't know. Like if you get to a commercial, like uh, uh, distilling, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, volume. Please keep it the way you did, because I love this. This is so good. Uh, subscriber 1000 says, please invite me to the Everclear show. So here's the plan. <laughs> Are we going to make jungle juice with the yes, Everclear Mr. too? <laughs> uh, so they actually make, um, I'd like to get our hands on, we'll just call it a moonshine show and we can get some of the different moonshines that are out there. Can we get actual moonshine, not the BS moonshine? Well, that's that what shows I was going like, suggest. That, that has the label as moonshine in the liquor store. So any of our friends out there that have a true... West Virginia hookup in the West Virginia Hills. Boone Gilroy, County Boone is where County. I hear that moonshine. They make the best. Oh. Isn't that where what's his face is from? The old what's that? Popcorn guy's Sutton. Name? Popcorn Sutton. If, yeah, if anyone knows Popcorn Sutton recipe. He's dead. Oh, I know he's dead. But his son and carries. I know he's torch. dead, but the, the recipe has been carried down. Yeah. We want some like backyard backwoods moonshine. So exactly. hit us up on the DMs. We'll see if we can make it happen. We'll put it on the show. Obviously, we won't say where we got it from, but we're, we're definitely looking forward to it. Right. Eight and a half out of ten, my score. Ten Zach, out of ten. Ten out of ten. I, Look I, at okay, that. so I've had three ten out of tens. It was cake, black, uh, black. I thought oh, you were going to oh. say black velvet. <laughs> black velvet. Black, black, de- black velvet. Ah! <laughs> oh, we do have to have a black velvet show, or do we? Uh, <laughs> or do we? I don't we know. We should. We, should. We, we did have a back to basics. Period. So yeah. that's what Black Velvet should have been in. Yep. Uh, black um, Gold Bar. And um, yeah, this will finish. I love it. I'm a fan. Uh, 10 out of 10 for 10 me. 10 out of 10. Great stuff. Guys, I think that's our show. So for those that didn't catch it, uh, we're scouting out. Um, our friend uh, Brad uh, with SoCal Jet Boats has invited us to his warehouse to go see his shirt making operation and swag making operation got to get the merch out and we're going to see if we can get uh replicate some of the merch that we're wearing and put it up for sale for you guys high quality shirts we're probably looking at like 25 to 30 bucks so be ready we're not messing around with those shirts that you wash once no bbt's no No port authority we're gonna get you guys some good quality stuff yeah Yeah, all that shit that like rolls up after so i've washed this four times and it's and it looks just like mine i mean it's brand new yeah it's and you're wearing yours the first for the first time yeah Yeah. i misplaced mine around the so we're gonna get some good quality swag it'll be a little bit pricier but that was one of my biggest complaints of shirts that i've bought from like people that i follow right i'm like this is like the worst quality shirt ever yeah this one you can wear like for hashtag year. bottle logic brewing get your ish together dude that's you're, not gonna go you on could, that hoodie years like to come worst. we could you wear this yeah you'd be years. wearing this shirt forever yeah so. and it's worth the money it's totally yeah. worth you the money you get a little pima the extra, cotton, what like five ten bucks, bucks ten bucks yeah exactly totally worth it totally worth it swags on on the horizon we have some great shows lined up brian will be, bj will be back with us and we'll be having a great show next week Thank you all for joining. Oh, really quick. Subscriber1000 says he has a Louisiana hookup that absolutely does count. We'll chat. Yes. We'll chat. Love it. All right. Thank you, Bob. Everybody, have a great, great night. We really appreciate you joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate all that you do for us. Hit the bell. Hit the the bell. At the Barrel Buddies on Instagram. That is our main communication platform where we talk to everybody on the socials. Yep. Thebarrelbuddies.com. 